Hey people, it's Nas nice, okay. Now I would like to thank a Twitter page called Black History Heroes who first told me about this person. So the source I'm using currently is a site called blackpast.org and I'll leave that in the description. Now this is one of the fathers of black nationalism, Martin Robeson Delaney, 1812-1885, so let me begin. Martin, Delaney, Martin Robinson Delaney was an African-American abolitionist, the first African-American field officer in the U.S. Army, and one of the first earliest African-Americans to encourage a return to Africa. Delaney was born in Charlestown, Virginia, now West Virginia, to a slave father and a free mother. And keep in mind, the rules that governed this were important because it wasn't the role of the mother. If she was a free person who was slave or not, meant that you were enslaved. That's why what call it, they were very obsessed about black men not having access, access to white women, as, uh, among other things. Delaney's mother took her children to Pennsylvania in 1822 to avoid the enslavement and persecution brought on by attempting to teach her children to read and write, which was illegal in the state at that time. In 1833, Martin Delaney began an apprenticeship with a Pittsburgh physician and soon opened a successful medical practice in cupping and leeching. It was not necessary to be certified to practice medicine, Prior to 1850, in 1843, he began publishing a newspaper in Pittsburgh called The Mystery. Later, Delaney joined Frederick Douglass to promote, to produce and promote the North Star in Rochester, New York. Martin Delaney entered Harvard Medical School in 1850 to finish his formal medical education, along with two other black students, but was dismissed from the institution after only three weeks as a result of petitions to the school from white students. Two years later, he published The Condition, Elevation, Emigration, and Destiny of the Colored People of the United States, politically considered, claiming that even abolitionists would never accept blacks as equals, and thus the solutions to the black condition lay in the emigration of all African Americans back to Africa. In 1859, Delaney led an emigration commission to West Africa to explore possible sites for a new black nation along the Niger River. We are a nation within a nation. We must go from our oppressors, he wrote. I mean, for a lot of the Hebrew Israelites who like to quote from the Bible, I don't even know if this guy was religiously motivated, but this goes along with what a lot of these guys say, which is that we need to leave Egypt, we need to separate from them. I mean, I'm not a Hebrew Israelite, but, you know, I get where the, these people are coming from. Anyway, let's continue. When the Civil War began in 1861, Delaney returned to the United States, jettisoning for a time his emigration as views. Delaney recruited thousands of men for the Union Army, in February 1865, after meeting with President Abraham Lincoln to persuade the administration to create an all-black corps led by African-American officers, Delaney was commissioned a major in the 52nd U.S. Colored Troops Regiment. With that appointment, he became the first line officer in United States Army history. When Reconstruction began, Delaney was assigned to the Freedmen's Bureau in South Carolina. There, he called for black pride, the enforcement of black civil rights, and land for the freed people. Delaney became active in local Republican politics, losing a close election for lieutenant governor of South Carolina, but later serving briefly as a judge in Charleston, South Carolina. As the Republicans lost power in the state, Delaney renewed his calls for emigration, becoming in 1878 an official in the Liberian Exodus Joint Stock Steamship Company. He also wrote in 1879, The Principia of Ethnology, a book that argued for race pride and purity. In 1880, Delaney withdrew from the Liberian Exodus Company, and she's just going back to what he said, a book that argued for race, pride, and purity. That's one of the reasons why misignation and race mixing is heavily pushed in the media. Because it's hard to have race pride when you have so many mixed people. Because then they'll say, well, oh, I'm black. Well, what about the other people who are black, Latino, black, Native American, black, Chinese, or whatever? It's hard to have black pride when, there's so, when it's hard to even decide what the hell is black. Anyway, let's move on. In 1880, Delaney withdrew from the Liberian Exodus Company and moved first to Boston, Massachusetts, and then to Wilberforce College in Xenia, Ohio. Martin Delaney, considered by many as the father of black nationalism, died in Xenia, Ohio on January 12, 1885. Well, I'm going to leave a few other sources in the description, but I hope you found this interesting. Please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. I'll leave this in the... I'll leave my GoFundMe in the description, and I'll leave my Instagram up there as well. Peace.